What's up party people? You are probably wondering why I am filling outside a Costco gasoline. Yes, I got gas, but it is Sunday. It is a beautiful day. And as I was pulling into the Costco gasoline right here behind me, I heard a little pop and it felt like a little pop, like you were squeezing in something into a tire. So uh, if you come check this out over here with my Audi R8, didn't go very far, but you can see that I ran over a screw. So it's pretty close to the tire wall. Uh, I don't know, I went over to the tire center just over there. They said they cannot patch it. So they cannot patch it, they cannot repair it, and they don't have the tire in stock. Just my luck, but not to worry. Uh, I can call AAA, get it towed, um, but uh, the tire center that I usually go to, Discount Tire or America's Tire, is actually closed today. So uh, we're gonna figure this out and I'll keep you updated. All right, so I called a mobile tire repair. They can do it. They can actually plug the hole so I can drive on it, get it home safely, check out a tire shop tomorrow. Probably need a whole new tire, which is kind of a bummer. But the kicker is it is 1.15 here on the Sunday and they can't get here till four. So we're gonna call some of my siblings, good thing I have five and they're all married, and we're gonna see if one of them can pick me up. So party people, change of plans. I'm actually gonna drive very slowly with my hazards on uh, to a nearby tire shop. I called five tire shops. Four of them were uh, short staffed, so they could not get me in today. And then uh, all the other ones were actually closed, that, so that was kind of a bummer but I'm gonna get a patch and a plug job. It's like a dual purpose. They said it's from the inside out. Uh, he's gonna have to check the tire, of course, as well. But uh, that's the game plan. So leaving Costco right now, and we're gonna see um, if we can get there in one piece. I tried to take out the screw. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I just wanted to see if it was punctured all the way through. And uh, it, was, it was hissing air, so I knew it was uh, going and leaking air, so I pushed it back in, and now that I'm driving on it, obviously it will be pushing even further. But uh, we'll see you when we uh, we'll see when we get there. What will happen? So it didn't get very far because the TPMS light came on and it said tire pressure too low. So I'm actually pulling in to a office complex, and uh, shoot, we actually might have a flat tire this time because I think uh, potentially. The tire got, uh, is leaking too much air. I'm gonna check it out here in a sec. So the tire doesn't look low, but the TPMS came on and it's not really hissing all that much. Okay, let me turn off the car. So there's the puncture. It's not hissing. Not at all. So I think I'm good to make, I mean, the tire shop is literally two miles down that road. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. I stand corrected, the tire shop is 2.5 miles down the road, but I think we can make it. I'm gonna go with we can make it. Uh, this is probably sketchy and I shouldn't be doing this, but the tire's fine. It's still very much inflated. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna figure so it out. There's the tire pressure too low. I checked the tire, it's not too low. We don't have far to go. Uh, right now I'm at Harbor and MacArthur. I have to get to MacArthur and Bristol. Here we go. 1.5 miles away from the tire shop. I called them ahead, obviously, to check out if they can do it. They need the car for the rest of the day. I got my mirror tilted all the way down to check on the tire. It doesn't look like it's losing air. But the TPMS light's going off. I'm at a loss. It is Sunday. Sunday scary. has got both shifts tomorrow. We're going to make it. I know we're going to make it. All right, party people, we made it. I see it. Firestone, thank you for coming to the rescue. Firestone, complete auto care. Ha! Uh, anyway, so I'm pulling up around back and let's see what the damage is, literally and financially. <laughs> Stopping it off with air to make me get home. That's hilarious. So just when I thought I was in the clear, I got to Firestone and they said they can't patch it, they can't plug it. It's uh, right where the tire curves. 
uh, on the sidewall, so they can't do anything about that. Uh, and then I found out, fun fact, not really for me, um, the all four tires are five years old and uh, they have a good amount of tread left, but I'll need a new tire in the driver's side left rear. So I'll probably need to replace all four. So wasn't really thinking of that or that into the budget. So uh, yeah, the joys of Sunday. <laughs> So they topped me off with air, and now I'm going about 3.2 miles to my sister's house. Brother-in-law is trailing behind me, so that is very nice of him. And I will, you know, I'll probably make it knowing now that I can do it. But uh, I will probably need four tires, four new tires. So if you have any tire recommendations, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, I'm leaning towards a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's but there's X-Comp tires that I can also get, Pirelli that I could get. But let me know in the comments down below what you think I should get in terms of the tire um, brand or you know tire that I should get. So let me know. Made it here back safely to my sister's house. We're gonna leave the car here. It is safe here to park overnight and I will deal with it on another day. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Right now we're sitting at about I'm sitting out about uh, 920 subscribers, so we're almost close to 1,000. Hopefully I can hit it by the end of the year. It's the end of November right now, so thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Woo!